what up peeps Adam at Flash building here and we're in our action script 3 XML mp3 playlist player project tutorial series it's a lot to fit in your mouth huh <laughs> I got something for you fit in your mouth <laughs> holy crap I'm a retard all right, now what we have to cover in this part of the lesson is going to be short and sweet, but let me demonstrate what I'm talking about here. When the player is playing, and say you're on song seven, the user's on song seven. It's the last song in the list, and song one's going to roll around when this song gets finished playing. You want to make sure that it goes all the way back up to viewing in the scroll pane automatically that song so if you're on song 5 and it gets done with song 5 we're gonna make the list component automatically on its own scroll to show 6 in the view pane okay let's grab folder 4 copy it paste it here move on to part 5 let's rename this part 5 double click inside of it rename this source file part 5 now we're ready to rock get some better functionality set up into this list component alright so this one we can delete because we'll be creating a new one when we press F12 to render out now we'll just open this in flash part 5 And this is very easy to accomplish and it's going to make this part of the lesson very short this video so here in the code we have our new track play function here so when it goes to a new track automatically this is where we have to put that code in and we're gonna put it right here under where we select which cell is highlighted in the field right under that we're gonna add the code and here as well right where I select the highlighted cell we're gonna add some more code and I'm gonna show you the handiness and the power of the help file and people who choose to use it uh, sometimes are able to get at the functionality they need without going into a forums or or looking for help elsewhere because it's right here so what I was looking to do was see I go into the help file and I typed in what I type in I typed in list and when that gave me all the results in action script 3 I went all the way down to where was it list right here this is very important because this can show you how to search inside of this help file even if you're in the online help file in flash cs4 it's a similar type thing so right here I found list scroll to index and I thought that's exactly what I want so I read it and it says scrolls the list to the item at the specified index if the index is out of range the scroll position does not change so let's grab that scroll to index so now let's put it right here and let's put the semicolon and this index is going to be zero for this first song to play the one down below is going to be and this is the method of the list component here and some other components it's called scroll to index and it makes the component scroll automatically to the index that you set so let's grab that control C and put it down here in the else condition of this function as well so list scroll to index this one has to be SN instead of zero if you kept that zero it will always go to one you don't want that this has to go to SN that's it. Now let's press control enter and I'll show you. I'm gonna go to this one's nice and short song 4. No, let's go to song 5. So when song 5 ends here it's going to automatically scroll. You'll see I'm gonna keep my mouse over here. It's gonna automatic. I'll put it over here. It's gonna automatically scroll to number 6 and bring 6 into view showing only 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So you see there, 
if you have 50 songs in your playlist it'll just sit there all day and keep automatically switching on its own which is the more intelligent way to program a player like this with a, a clickable scrollable playlist so I'm gonna keep this in its own little section and we'll move on to part 6 in the next video scroll to index pretty cool and remember your help file very helpful you saw how it was just helpful to me I needed something done I searched and BAM!